the Bank of England and the Treasury have between them many tools to influence the economy. Their toolkit is bigger than ever before. The monetary tools, low rates, QE, in my view, are nearly played out. If you're going to basically make central banks the guardians of everything, then at least give them some more tools. So a helicopter drop is cheaper and more efficient and it actually goes straight into consumption. I think it's profoundly undemocratic. The very same technocrats that failed to see the crisis coming are now being asked to spray money around. I just think that's out of order. It's very difficult to see what you can actually do with interest rates when you've only got, you know, uh, 25 basis points to play with at most. It's very likely that the bank is going to have to raise rates, actually. If it goes anywhere, it's likely to go up. The risk is that the fall in the pound and so on becomes serious. It's not too serious at the moment. Has the fall in the pound due to Brexit uh, helped us to avoid a Japanese-style lost decade? At the end of the day, economies are number of people times number of hours worked plus the capital stock. That's it. And if you cut that variable out and they're getting old, you're really hurting yourself. So the future could be Japanese if you're lucky. Like Sir John was saying, we can't afford ex fiscal expansion. But he was also referencing international markets and those capital flows and the fact that they could lose confidence of course, in the so UK. Of course, and that's why sterling is falling, because they are losing confidence. Should the onus now shift to fiscal policy? I think, Anne, you're going to like the result here. They're all <laughs> smart. They're really smart. <laughs> I can tell.